Many a times we come across a need to capture our screen as a video. It may be for using it to prepare content for our online video or it may be for our personal archiving purpose. Whatever the case may be, there are a handful of excellent softwares out there, some paid, some free. Today we look at VLC Media Player used as a screen capture software. If you don't already have VLC Media Player, which is a cross-platform multimedia player and it's open source, you can go to their website videolan.org. I've given the description the link in the description below. Go to their site. Next to the download VLC, you'll see an arrow which will give you options to download it for your corresponding operating system. Since I am on a Mac, I would select Mac OS X. Once you have your VLC installed on your system, Take the file menu, open capture device and here since we are going to capture the screen where you see the input devices you should select the screen as your input device. And under the screen section depending on how many monitors are connected to your system you would see the list here. I've got two monitors connected, so I see screen 1 and screen 2. Since I want to capture the video on screen 2, I choose screen 2. Coming to the frame rate, frames per second, the default is 5, which is okay for a presentation which does not involve video content on screen because 5 frames per second is very slow for video content. It is okay for basic instructional videos that does not include video playback on screen. If you're looking at video playback capture on screen, it is best to go from 24 and upward. You can go to about 60 frames. 24 is your normal frame rate that would be okay and the, you can leave the rest as default and coming to the streaming slash saving that's where you will define other options like where you would save your file and your video settings go to the settings section and browse to the folder that you would want to save the file to and press save we would be coming back to this once again because if you notice the extension is .ts we would not want that extension so we would come back to that again in the encapsulation method the default might be mpeg ts change that to mpeg4 And under transcoding options, video, select H264. And in the bitrate, select 16. Once you've done that, come back to browse. And make sure that it's MP4 extension out here and press save again. Since I'm not capturing audio, I'm not enabling the audio capture option here or changing the settings. Now press OK. And once you press open, the recording starts. And when you want to stop recording, you can come down here and press the stop. But since the recording hasn't started, the stop button is not enabled. Now press open and the video capture is started. 
you can see the mouse move. Once you've finished capturing your screen, you can go back to your VLC and press the stop button. If you go to the folder where you've saved your output, you'll see the file that has been created. So that's it for now. Thank you.